this side of the pattern will be our center. So I will write center front. On the top side, we will square our guideline. Now we can plot our neckline curve. We lay the tip of the tape measure on the center front, on the guideline, and we go out two and a half inches or 6.4 centimeters. We mark this. Then we will extend this line. And from here, we will go down one half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters. Now we will lay the tip of the tape measure on the guideline until 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters. We mark this. Then we will square this outwards. Then we will go in one half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters. We mark this. Now from this corner, we will go up 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters on a diagonal manner. So from here, we go up to here. We mark this. Now we will connect all these points with a slight curved line. As you can see, we now have our neckline curve. The shoulder measurement for a medium large figure is 15 and a half inches or 39.5 centimeters. We fold the tape measure once to get one half of the shoulder measurement. We lay the tip of the tape measure on the center front on the guideline and we mark one half of the shoulder measurement. Now with a colored pencil or tailor's chalk, we will square from one half of the shoulder measurement down to 10 inches or 25.5 centimeters. To get the shoulder slope, we will go down from the guideline and one half of the shoulder measurement, one and three fourth inches or 4.5 centimeters. We mark this. Now we can connect these two points to form our shoulder line. Okay, now we have our neckline curve and our shoulder line. For a medium large figure, now that we have the neckline curve and the shoulder line, we need to make a neckline adjustment on the neckline curve. We do this by going out one half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters from here and here we go down one half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters and also from this line we go down one half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters. Now we will connect all these points with a slight round curve line. We can make this a little rounder on this part. Okay. Now we can cross out the previous neckline curve. To get the armhole level for a medium large figure, we will go down from the guideline 8 and 1 fourth inches or 21 centimeters. We mark this. This now will be our armhole level and our bust level. We will square this outwards. 
starting from the center front outwards. Now that we have our armhole level and our bust level, we can get the bust measurement. For a medium large figure, the bust measurement is 36 inches or 91.5 centimeters. We fold the tape measure twice to get one-fourth of the bust measurement. We lay the tip of the tape measure on the center front on the bust level until one-fourth of the bust measurement. We mark this. Then, for bust easing, we will add one-half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters. Remember, that we borrow this from the back bodice pattern. So when we draft the back bodice pattern, we will have to subtract one half of an inch or 1.3 centimeters. Now that we have our bust and armhole level, we can get the level of the front chest. We do this by laying the tip of the tape measure on the slope of one half of the shoulder and we fold the tip of the tape measure until the bust level to get the center of these two points. This now will be the front chest level. We will square this outwards. For a medium large figure, the front chest measurement is 13 and a half inches or 34.5 centimeters. We fold the tape measure once to get one half of this measurement. We lay the tip of the tape measure on the edge of the center front until one half of the front chest measurement. We mark this. For a sleeveless dress, the safe distance between one half of the shoulder measurement and the front chest measurement is one inch or 2.5 centimeters or three-fourths of an inch or 1.9 centimeters or if you round that off two centimeters now that we have these three points we can actually draft our armhole curve But I will give you more points to work on. From one half of the front chest measurement, we go down three fourths of an inch or two centimeters and we draw a straight line connecting these two points. From here, we will square this downwards with a broken straight line. Okay, actually we just like this angle or corner here so that we can have a guide to go up on a diagonal manner. From this corner or angle, we will go up one inch and one eighth of, a, of an inch. So here. Or three centimeters. Now with all these added points, we can easily make or draw our armhole curve. From this point, we just go straight and then go towards this point with a round curve and go down until the bust measurement. Okay. We can make this a little rounder on this part. Okay, now we have our neckline curve, our shoulder line, and our armhole curve for the medium-large figure.